to another gauge tutorial from fibgages.com. Today we're going to show you a new feature in spad.next 0.9.7. Now this enables you to update your gauges within spad now. So if you're having to go to the store and download your gauges and save them to your computer and move them to a folder, this will actually do it all within spad now. So, you may find that when you fire up SPAD, you may find some of your gauges will come up with these little warnings. Um, the ones that say update required, the gauges won't function and you will need to upgrade your gauge. You may also see update available and this is just to alert you that you should update the gauge as well. Now, unfortunately, there isn't actually a process within the UI here to actually update the gauge. It's all done through the gauge loading screen. So, if you click on the Add Gauge button to take you to your loading screen, if you select the folder that your gauges are in, you'll notice that it will have the banner saying that an update is required or whether your upgrade is available. And you can now update here within these screens. So, I'm going to do this update required one first of all. So, if you click the gauge, it will give you an option to update gauge. And if you click the update gauge button, you are then presented with two options. You can do a manual update. Again, that will take you back to the gauge store where you can log in. You can open your order. You can download your gauge. You can manually copy the gauge to wherever you like. Uh, the same process as previous. Or you can use the automatic update, which basically just takes a copy of the current gauge from a store and drops it straight onto your PC. Now, the existing gauge is backed up and the new gauge is put on the hard drive in the same location and it overrides the, the gauge basically. And it's a very, very quick process and then you can see that the banner has gone. So I'm going to go and do the other one here as well. So I'm going to click, we're going to go to update gauge, I'm going to go for the automatic update and again that's done. Now if you close the gauge form, you'll notice within the UI those gauges are still showing the banners. Now there's going to be some more improvements regarding the gauge update process, but for now you can either change the gauge profile or you can close and reopen SPAD. So I'm going to quickly close that profile and then reopen it and it'll reload the gauges that have now been um, updated. And you can see that the gauge is no longer showing update required. So that's basically how you update the gauges in the new version of the SPAD. Um, it's fairly straightforward. It's a lot easier than going back through the store to do it. So some people I know are getting a little bit confused now this is out. Um, but that's in essence how you do it. You just go to your gauge loading screen, update your gauges from there, and either restart SPAD or reload the profile. And the new gauges will then be applied to your profile. Okay, so I hope you found that useful, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so, and come back and check out some of our other Gauge demos. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.